operating procedure. Reason I'm calling is, did you happen to catch the Between Two Ferns episode between Obama <laughs> and Zach Galifianakis? Yeah, yeah, I saw a little bit of that. I, I couldn't really watch too much of it. I, I didn't want to, it was making me sick. I didn't, <laughs> but what did you think about that? Well, I have a master's degree in psychology and I study history in my spare time, in particular propaganda, Goebbels, um, other uh, Soviet propaganda. And Obama and Galifianakis made Goebbels look like a like an elementary student compared to a guy with a PhD on, on this video. So basically, um, I'm writing a script for uh, counter-propaganda, you know? Let me, let me ask you, while we're talking about propaganda, it was just within this last year, I believe, that the government... Uh, has has said that they're going to use uh, Radio Free Europe and Voice America. They had always used those strictly in foreign countries and communist countries, uh, and it was overt propaganda. Now they say they're going to use those organizations here domestically in the United States. Uh, how do you feel about that? Awful. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. They removed the act. You know, that was... That was forbidden when they created them right after, right at the height of the Cold War, right after World War II. They created those two agencies and they expressly forbade them to do anything in the United States, just as we had after the church committee hearings. Uh, the intelligence community was forbidden to spy on Americans. It was supposed to be only for foreigners that they were going to spy on. But but now we see that they're they're using their spy uh, machine here on Americans and dragnet surveillance. And now we see that they're going to broadcast propaganda to us just like they did in the Cold War because they know that they're losing the information war, aren't they? No, they're not. Um, we have people like Alex Jones, we have people like you, we have people like Drudge that they're not going to beat us. How do you fight an idea? Like, uh, it was invent her with another idea. And I don't want to take much time, but I'll tell you a little bit about the script without giving it away. Essentially, you switch roles. You have a fat, sloppy-looking guy as president and a will, real well-reserved, well-spoken, instead of stupid-looking guy interviewing him uh, and rather than the president dodging the questions with humor you know he'd say stuff to Zach Galifianakis like nobody cares about your text but he didn't answer the fact that it's illegal for him to read anybody's text messages or emails or phone conversations oh absolutely so with that, with that being said um it ended in the green room and Obama said what's going on why are you on the set of my green room for my script, it's going to end in Guantanamo with this uh, metaphor of a president being detained for breaking the law. So <laughs> I'm going to email you it to uh, Info Wars if Alex thinks it's a good idea. You guys are more than welcome to shoot it. Well, thanks. Appreciate that. Let's go to uh, Joseph in Canada. Joseph? Yes, good day. Hey. Um, Talking about the uh, the Snowden thing, I, I, I guess it's a, a a good thing that you know eventually he does try to come out and eventually try to expose these things. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you're still left with the, the you're still left with the the real rationalization that there's um, really nothing that's being done with the information. I mean, we have insurmountable amounts of data that's that's proven that these people are abusing their positions they're they're acting incorrectly they're perf performing atrocities that are you know costing people's lives they're acts of treason they're murdering people and it, i think it really it's going to take people that are in positions of power to wake up and say, look, you know, we're not, we're not going to accept, you know, what you're going to offer us, you know, for, for, you know, some monetary gain for right now. Well, that's exactly and, true. You know, the question is, when we expose these things, are we going to just sit there and watch it and say, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I know that. And nothing happens. And so we just, as a society, become more cynical, more passive, just accept this and say, well, you know, corruption and illegal activities, that's just the way the government operates. I hope that what's going to happen is eventually, if you remember the Iron Curtain, the uh, 
in East Germany where they were shooting people going over the border uh, in uh, West Berlin, from East Berlin to West Berlin. One day, the soldiers just decided that they weren't, weren't going to do that anymore. One day, the people got together, they met at a church, they marched up to the borders there where the soldiers were guarding those walls, and the soldiers just stood down because the people were sick and tired of it. Sometimes it takes a very long time for that to happen before the people who are implementing the policies for them essentially just make that ineffective. Now, there's some other tools that we have still in America that we're not using. As I mentioned several times already, jury nullification. There are things that we can do as individuals that are very potent, very powerful ways to shut down this a little bit at a time. We can protest. We can do other things. But the question is, are we going to just become cynical and accepting of this, or are we going to push back against this? And of course, we have, I think, a limited amount of time, because what's going to happen is eventually they're not going to need those soldiers and police officers. They're going to have multiply, force multipliers with robotics and with drones, and that's when it gets really dangerous. Will we change before then? We're going to take your comments right after we come back. We're also going to talk about Helping Obama's cold party rules. failure. Tisha take Cassida for Congress. Donate now at Cassida2014.com. C-A-S-I-D-A-2014.com. The next generation for liberty. The independent voice we need. Paid for by the committee to elect Tisha Cassida to Congress. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Harvest Right is the world's first in-home freeze dryer. Freeze dry your own fruits, vegetables, meats, and full meals. With Harvest Right, you can prepare foods that last 25 years, preserving its freshness, nutrition, color, and taste. All your food can be freeze dried. So don't throw away your leftovers. Freeze dry them with this incredible in-home money-saving freeze dryer. Go to HarvestRight.com to see how the Harvest Right freeze dryer works. That's HarvestRight.com. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking a hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is doing designed to do. You watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. The best free fuel stoves on the market for disasters and survival are Silver Fire. Its clean cook stove technology allows you to pasteurize emergency drinking water, cook a meal, or sanitize your cookware with just twigs. A U.S. veteran-owned company, Silver Fire's mission is emergency and recreation cooking products. Made of quality stainless steel, Silver Fire's wide line of indoor and outdoor models range from solo backpack models to large family units. Cook cleanly and for free. Get yours today at silverfire.us. That's silverfire.us. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. This is the one-year anniversary of the beginning of the Snowden document leaks. We've been taking your comments on that, as well as Obama's unilateral dictatorial actions, uh, the latest being the exchange of uh, five Taliban for one deserter. Uh, do you think that's a good trade? What do you think about the law? Now, we've got an article just went up on Infowars.com from Kurt Nemo. Impeach Obama over the Gitmo release. 
How about the hypocrisy of Senator Lindsey Graham? And we're going to be talking about that in the next break. But I've got somebody hanging on the phone here to talk to us about banks. And there was an interesting item in the news today. European Central Bank is taking a radical step. This is from the New York Times. In an unprecedented attempt to stimulate the Eurozone economy, the European Central Bank said it will begin charging interest on deposits held by the bank. You understand that? They're going to charge interest on deposits, not on loans, but on deposits. It's called a negative interest rate. And this is something that is coming to us from, guess who? Super Mario. That's Mario Draghi, the uh, guy who was the Goldman Sachs banker who was put in charge of uh, Italy's economy, deposing the duly elected uh, person who was there. He's now currently the European Central Bank president. And they said that imposing a negative deposit rate is meant to give a positive jolt to the Eurozone economy. In the annals of central banking, however, negative deposit rates have rarely been tried. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're going to see what happens. But, hey, it's a sweetheart deal for the bankers, isn't it? If they can charge you to just deposit your money with them, not to loan you money, but to have your money be deposited with them. And, of course, we have the story that's up on InfoWars today uh, it's a re uh, from Zero Hedge. Financial reporter claims that debt is, quote, the bridge from working hard to playing hard. Uh, this is a guy, his name is Steve Leisman, appropriately named. <laughs> he says, debt is always pointed out as a negative thing, when in fact, debt is the great bridge between working hard and playing hard in this country. This country has been built on consumer debt. No, this country is a house of cards on top of consumer debt that is about to fall down as well as nationally. And, of course, that's a situation that has been engineered by these central bankers, the ones who are pumping and dumping the mortgage market, pumping and dumping the euro, who engineered, as we pointed out, 59 years ago, according to uh, former chairman of Bilderberg, the Bilderberg Group, they engineered the euro and the eurozone, the European Union. Uh, they did that to take control of those countries, to pump up the, ac uh, the assets, then to implode it like a uh, uh, kind of a panic in a, in a uh, bank situation, as we've seen happen with J.P. Morgan, with the founding of the Federal Reserve. They always pump it, they dump it, they buy it up at fire sale prices. One more story about the uh, bankers, and we'll go to uh, Minnesota Polar Bears comments Hillary Clinton's Goldman Sachs problems. This is from Mother Jones. They point out the hypocrisy of Hillary Clinton complaining about the wealth concentration of the top 0.01%. She says that's risen sharply over the last generation. It's a throwback to the gilded age of robber barons. But they say, is this Hillary test driving a theme for a possible 2016 presidential campaign, sticking up for the little guy, trashing the economic elites, she talked about the shadow banking system that operated without accountability, and yet all three Clintons were having a day-long confab with donors to their foundation. And guess where they were meeting? At the Manhattan headquarters of Goldman Sachs. How's that for hypocrisy? Uh, she's gotten between, their foundation's gotten between a quarter and a half million dollars from them just recently, from just Goldman Sachs. So she's running, she's going to use some populist rhetoric, just as Obama used rhetoric about being transparent. But we'll see what really happens if she becomes president. Let's hope that that doesn't happen. We're going to be right back after the break. We're going to take calls and we're going to talk about Obama's EPA coal plant regulations. Stay tuned. <laughs> This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize 
realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the Info War to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank you.